So James, it's been 13 days since we last spoke at Tanadice. How are you and the players been preparing for Wraith Rovers tomorrow? Yeah, we've, we've used the time as best we can. As I alluded to at the time, it was good that for certain players like Lewis in particular, who, who was pretty ill, um, to get back, he, he's he's looking good now. Um, Michael's obviously done a couple of weeks of training after what was, for me, a great performance from him. Um, a bit earlier than than we were expecting and, and hoping to do because we were, were planning on being being safe with him and, and getting him the minutes in, in the right way. But he came through that fine. He's trained really well and obviously the two weeks has, has allowed Ben to get to know the players a bit better as well. From what you're saying there, it, it sounds like um, you've got a real positive selection headaches tomorrow because you had Rhys Breen being back from suspension into that that list of players as well and, and, and the squad's looking really strong once again. Yeah, look, it's it's never really a headache, if I'm honest. Um, you want you want competition all over the pitch. You want you want good players to choose from. So I, I would never class it as a headache. I like that. Um, I like having that and that options. And, and, and look, we'll use the squad that is. Obviously, Brini coming back is is good for the squad as well. So no, look, in terms of that, yeah, the, the squad is a bit stronger, not just in numbers, but in terms of Michael's up to speed a bit more. Ben's obviously been training with us for three three weeks now, um, or, or just short of three weeks. And and Lewis is is fit and available for this weekend as well. So yeah, that's a positive. And throughout the last few days as well, I believe there's been more positive news with Kane returning to some sort of training with the group. Is that right? Yeah, Kane's fully training now, um, which is really good news for the group. Um, more importantly, good news for the player. Because it was it's a tough time. He came off the back of a really good end to a season. He had done all the work in pre season, then he, he gets the injury. We understand that's football and that can happen. But look, he's he's shown his maturity for such a young lad, doing his rehab, um, doing all the work that he could do while in the boot, out the boot. And now now he's back on, on the grass with us. And, and to be fair to Kane, he's looking really sharp. Wraith Rovers tomorrow, and that's the kind of game that you'll be looking forward to. A, a, a big reason I'm sure you came to the club is, is those kind of big crowds, big expectations and, and looking for big performances. Yeah, everything's about the performance. Look, we've we've had big games. Um, obviously last season we had a derby that I had never had any experience of in, in Falkirk. Um, we had games where we could win a league. We had games where we were behind. We had a big travelling support. Um, urging us on to get back into games. So as a manager, as a, a coaching staff, and as players, you want to be involved in in big games. It's like the game is. From what I've been told, is, is a big game. Um, we're expecting a big crowd, but look, it's just important we focus on the performance. We go out there and and do what we've been doing. We work really hard and, and we give the fans something to get behind us with, which I'm sure we will, um, because we know, regardless of who we're playing here, that they, they do turn up in their numbers and, and they back us. At this football club, there is an expectation. The, the players know that, um, and whether it's it's Falkirk, Rafe Rovers or, or Peter Head out there, it, the players are as calm and and ready to go as, as they are for any game. I, I, I don't buy into buy into it too much. Um, I said the same last season when we were playing Falkirk. I've obviously played in derbies myself, and yeah, there's there's stuff that goes on out with your control, and there's excitement for fans, and and yeah, there's excitement for the game. But it come twenty five past two when we go out for the warm up, it's just business. Business as usual for, for our group and, and what we need to do is go out and just concentrate on a performance. We do that, then then we believe we'll get a positive result. And and ultimately, what comes... Obviously, it's, there's a chance to win a game, to to go on to seven points, but ultimately, the, the main thing that at the end of the game is we want to send the supporters away happy. Um, that, by doing that, you, you need to win the game. But also, not just that, you need to perform well. Um, you need to get show them that you've given everything for the football club. And, and I think that's why the players, not so much relish, but that's why the players they want in these big games because they know that when there's a bigger crowd in here, there's more people watching, there's more people getting behind and, and appreciating their efforts. And, and we certainly appreciate the fans because they've backed us from day one. But it's I'm not downplaying the game because it's... 
it's another home game. It's a game that, that we're desperate to go out and win like any other game, but we've just got to handle the occasion and, and go out and take care of the football.